Ministry of Education in 2019 introduced a standard-based curriculum which focuses on learning and learning progression. Participatory, activity-based learning can only take place effectively in class sizes averaging 35, as recommended by the Ghana Education Service. Unfortunately, characteristic of Ghana's urban public basic schools, the average class size does not support activity-based learning. Government will have to invest more in expanding basic education infrastructure, especially in urban areas where high class sizes will not permit a rational implementation of the new standard-based curriculum. Apart from that, we also believe that in line with government policy, there must be a conscious effort, not just at building new schools, but also maintaining existing ones that have structural issues. A former Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Charles Ahetuchega, said more education infrastructure must be provided to bridge the gap. Let us not push the idea of uniformity in the way we construct schools. We have a certain perception of modernity, you know, which is driving the way we see things and making it very difficult for us to be innovative within our own context the report recommended that the Ministry of Education must map crowded classrooms and roll out a deliberate program to build more classrooms in such schools.